Hey, Bill. Yeah. I think I got a blown fuse in my Sequoia. Which one of them is it? Looks like it's a 10 amp EFI number two fuse. Well, what's that supposed to mean? What is up, Toyota fans? This is Andrew from Trail Runner Customs. Today we're back with my 2006 Toyota Sequoia. Now I'm going to show you the exact fuse box locations for the 01 to 07 Sequoia, as well as just tell you what these fuses mean. We're going to begin with the locations of the fuse boxes. The one on the interior is located under the left hand side of the steering wheel. You just pull it up to take it off and it exposes the inner fuses. So this is the only internal fuse box. You now need to move to the engine bay. So pop your hood. Also, if you want to get any Sequoia upgrades, check out trailrunnercustoms.com. But moving under the hood in the engine bay, you just need to pop your hood, pull the lever, and raise the hood. That exposes the three engine bay fuse boxes. This right here is the largest one on the right-hand side by the battery. You just easily remove the lid. We'll go more into what those fuses do later, but this is just a quick look on the inside. So there's another auxiliary fuse box behind the main box. This one does have a lot more relays and fuses in it, but it does have some important ones we can discuss later. So lastly, we have this little baby fuse box near the other two. This one is a little bit more specific towards the towing package. All right, so now we're gonna go into what each of the fuses do, starting with the internal fuse box. I'm just gonna quickly run through some of the functions of these fuses, but I put the in-depth explanation on the screen, so feel free to pause it and read if you'd like. Starting with the tail fuse, this is the tail lights, backdoor courtesy light, and license plate lights. ECU-IG controls tons of different electronic systems within the vehicle. WSH controls the wipers and the wiper fluid. ACINV is the power outlets. IGN2 is the ignition system. PWR number 3, rear passenger's power window. PWR seat is the power seats. PWR number four, rear passenger's power window. SIG is the cigarette lighter and air conditioning system. RAD number two is a wide variety of electronic systems. 4WD is the four wheel drive system for those that have it. STOP is for the stop lights, the traction control system, as well as some of the vehicle stability control and fuel injection systems. OBD is for the OBD reader port. AM1 provides voltage drop protection for the previous fuses. Panel is for the instrument panel lights, glove box lights, and other interior lights. PWR number one is for the driver's door lock system. WIP is for the wipers and washers. IGN1 is for the charging system. Sunroof is for the electric sunroof above. PWR number two is for the front passenger door lock system. PWR number five is for the back door lock system. HTR is for the electric cooling fan as well as the mirror and back heaters. FOG is for the fog lights. Gauge is for the backup lights, seat heaters, as well as other gauges and meters. PWR outlet, power outlets. Seat heater, seat heaters. Next we're going to move to the main fuse compartment in the engine bay. CDS fan is the electric cooling fan system. Main would be the main starting system. Door number two, power door locks, security system, and auto door locks. ETCS, multi-port fuel injection system, electronic throttle control. EFI number one, same type of thing, multi-port fuel injection onboard diagnosis system. H-LPRH, right-handed headlight. Towing, trailer lights, stop lights, turn signals. Alt-S would be the charging system. DRL. H-LP, left-handed headlight. AM2, starting system, throttle control, IGN1 and 2 fuses. Turn-Has would be the turn signals and hazard lights. Rad number 3, audio and video system. ST, starting system. Horn. EFI number 2, multi-port fuel injection system and sequential multi-port fuel injection system. Dome would be the interior dome lights as well as the luggage compartment lights. ECU-B is a ton of different electronic systems. MIR-HTR would be the mirror heaters. Rad number one is the audio systems and rear entertainment systems. Moving on to the secondary fuse box. First we have the Air SUS number two, that's the rear height control and air suspension. Then we have the RSE. Rear seat audio system and rear entertainment system. 
We have the A slash F sensor. Security, which is the multiplex communication security system. DEF I slash UP, rear window defogger fuel injection. The H dash LP, which is left handed headlight low beam. H dash LP RL, which is the right handed headlight low beam. STA, multi port fuel injection and electronic throttle control. H dash LH, left handed headlight high beam. And then the H dash RH, which is the right handed high beam. Lastly, we have the really small fuse box with the three green fuses. The first one is the towing tail, which is trailer lights. The next one is the battery charge, which is the trailer sub battery. And then the last one is the towing BRK, which is the trailer brake communication. Okay, so that's it for the fuses. Definitely not the most exciting video, but I hope I could just spread a little bit of light on what these fuses do. As a reminder, if you want to get a TRD Pro Grill, check out the link in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.